Hey everyone, it's Emily, four days out from my first WBFF show, and exciting, I'm in Sacramento, yay! After a very long four hour drive, the dogs kept me entertained, putting peanut butter on their nose, trying to watch them lick it off, all that, because um, it's not the most exciting drive from San Diego to Sacramento, but I'm happy to be here. Um, and I plopped right into bed to do a little bit of relaxing because the next couple days are going to be super busy. I'm really excited. And today's video blog, what I wanted to talk to you guys about is holding yourself accountable and showing up. Okay, show up for that day. Show up for that show that you say you're going to do. Show up for that friend when you say you're going to be there for them. Make sure that you do the things in your life that you say you're going to do. If it's a goal, if it's a job, if it's a show, if it's losing 10 pounds, there's a reason that you said you're going to do it. And you will be disappointed in yourself if you don't achieve those type of things. Okay, it's holding your word with yourself. If you tell a friend, I'm going to meet you for coffee at noon, you show up, right? If you tell someone, I'm going to help you move because I have a truck and you don't, you come with the truck and you help them move, right? You tell someone you're going to respond to their email in a couple days, you do it, right? We all know that that kind of stuff doesn't happen all the time. It's unfortunate, but I really want you to think about making sure that you hold those promises to other people as well as holding them to yourself. So if you tell yourself, I'm going to lose 10 pounds, I don't want to hear that it's just some New Year's resolution that goes to the wayside and then you're super disappointed and then next year you have 15 more pounds to lose because that's all that happens. You've got to set those goals. It's going to take you some time. You're going to need your cheering squad in the background. You're going to need your friends. You're going to need support, but ultimately you have to hold yourself accountable. I've been training for 16 weeks for the show, and were there times that I thought, there's no way I'm going to go from 134 pounds to 120. No way. This is show like number 12 for me. Maybe I need a little break. I'm so busy with work. Of course I had those times. But when it comes down to it, when I say I'm going to do something, there is nothing stopping me. I always say that it's like um, putting on your blinders, okay? I'm, in, I'm a racehorse. I'm in mode. I got my blinders on and I'm ready to go. So that's the way that I took it with the show, and I'm super excited. So whether I get my pro card, whether I land in the bottom five, I showed up. I held myself accountable, and I achieved my goal. My goal's already met. It's not just getting my pro card with the WBFF, which of course I'm going to love if that happens, and if it doesn't, I still achieve my goal. I showed up, I held myself accountable, and I achieved. So I want you to think about what it is you guys want to achieve, how you're going to do it, and make it happen. Your, your life is long. you got a long time to do these things, okay? But if you don't do them, you're going to have a long time to regret them. Don't have any regrets. Okay? I have a lot of plans for the next year, a lot of really exciting things that I think now that I'm doing these video blogs, I'm going to share with you after the show. Okay? And I want to hear what your plans are. Okay. Thanks, guys. I will see you on day three after I'm rested. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all your messages. I appreciate everything from the bottom of my heart. All right. Bye.